All right, here's the video at request of a few people about how to make a wiring harness to start a motor on a bare chassis. What you're going to need is first a battery. I happen to have mine hooked up to a trickle charger so that it keeps charged. The battery is hooked up to the chassis for a ground. The positive runs to the proper terminal on the starter. The transmission also has a ground wire here so that it gets good ground through. And basically there's two wires that hook up to the starter solenoid. You need a power wire. This comes from the battery. The power wire runs up to the number 30 spot on the ignition and this is the starter wire so we're going to follow these two wires over here make it extra long okay so we have the number 30 wire is the big wire here that's hot this is the starter wire that's number 50 and this is the coil wire it's number 5415 and the coil wire runs hot to the coil on the positive side okay so now my son Henry's going to change places basically it works just like the regular VW starter you have your Accelerate, uh, accessory uh, position here that's for the coil on okay can't leave that on or it'll burn the coil up and it'll burn the points up so all right I don't have any gasoline in there actually Henry just point it towards the carburetor This is how I put gasoline in the carburetor for a temporary startup. See the hole right here? You can put gasoline in without flooding the carburetor. Just like this. Give it a couple pumps. That's basically how that all works. Hopefully there's a Enough information there for you to make your own wiring harness. There's three simple wires, power, the ignition start wire, and the coil wire. And that's it. Um, if you want to like and subscribe, let me know what you think in the comments. And thanks for the trash truck going by at the end. Perfect.